A young woman, no older than 20 years old, stared at a picture of another young woman around the same age. The woman's skin was all one equal tone, and she wore her hair in a high ponytail. However, it was obvious to any observer that the young woman had no clue that her picture had been taken. Sunny, the young woman in question, stares at the picture longingly, as if trying to imagine her love was here with her, in her embrace. Yet she sighed, knowing this not to be reality. Then she wondered, why can't it be reality? <laughs> oh, my love, my darling, my everything. Why do you have to be so oblivious to how I feel? Sunny continues talking to herself almost to the point in which it sounds as if she is insane. I can't just stand that every day you had to be looked at by them. Those disgusting, fucking perverted people. Who want to corrupt you, darling? No. 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 I can't allow it. No, darling. I won't accept it. You're mine and only mine. As Sunny says this, she walks out of her room, grabbing various supplies she had bought prior to this day. She had bought rope, a gag, and various items to assist in an activity that would more than likely end her in being in jail, should she be caught. Rope, check. Rag, check. Chloroform? Check. I hate myself for having to do this, darling. But you can't, you can't, simply can't be around them anymore. Sunny then walks to her car, discreetly putting in the items and grabbing her car keys, ready to commit a heinous act against a very innocent woman. She then drives to a small track where her unknowing victim would jog and exercise. Her plan was simple. Wait in the bushes next to the track, ambush her darling while he, she is tired from running, and then put her in her small sedan, taking her home and making her her lover. Sunny drove for a short while before reaching the large parking lot outside of the track course. It was fairly empty, owing to the early morning. Sunny left her car, spotting her soon-to-be victim, doing her workout with headphones in and not paying attention. As she ran by, Sunny jumped out at her, quickly putting the chloroform around her face. The young woman struggles and attempts to throw off her assailant, but to no luck. Tired from her run, she is unable to do much as she quickly loses consciousness. There you go, darling. Just stop struggling. Soon we'll be home, and you'll be safe from this dark and nasty world, full of people who want to hurt and corrupt your purity. The young woman looks around, confused at her surroundings, then immediately remembers what happened. A strange woman kidnapped her, for God knows what. She was gagged and tied down to a chair, unable to run or call for help. Darling, please stop struggling. I tie a very tight knot, and frankly, you struggling hurts my feelings. I can hear you trying to talk. Here, let me take your gag off. But if you scream, I'll have to put it back in your mouth, darling. The young woman questions Sunny. She says in a scared tone, the fear unmistakable in her eyes. Oh, darling, don't be afraid. I have no reason to hurt you. You are my everything, the light to my darkness, the sun to my moon. I can never hurt you, if you try to leave me. The woman calms down a small amount. However, nervousness is still clear in her eyes. Here, just in case you don't believe me, let me give you this. Sunny plants a soft kiss on her lips, making her instantly shudder, then relax as a calm takes hold of her body. You question Sunny on why she would take an interest in you, 
Sunny pauses for a little bit, then smiles as she speaks. I have been watching you for quite some time, my love. I have watched you as you faced heartbreak, sadness, and loss. I can't stand it anymore, so I decided to take you for myself. Besides, I love you. Isn't that reason enough? The young woman's face lights up red as she blushes at hearing her kidnapper declare her love. Oh, you're adorable when you blush, my love. There are a few rules to be here with me, but I think you'll accept this new situation because the pros outweigh the cons. First, you will not talk to any other boys, or girls, if you like them too. You can only love me. Second, you will not try to escape. You won't even make it up the stairs before I know you're trying to leave me. Third, you aren't allowed to leave until I trust that you won't try to escape me or try and call the police. Understood, darling. The young woman nods her head. However, in her mind, the last thing she is thinking about is trying to escape. She very quickly starts to become infatuated with her captor, much to her own disgust and embarrassment. Good girl. Now, stay still for a moment while I untie you, and please don't try and leave me, okay? Sunny then unties the young woman, doing so while somewhat scared, but what she would do next shocked her. Within a moment, the young woman latches onto her, sobbing as if out letting a lifetime of sadness and anger. Sunny pats her back, trying to comfort her. It's all right, darling, darling. Let it out. You're safe with me now, okay? The two lovers hold one another in each other's embrace, simply enjoying each other's warmth in a world that is so full of coldness.